أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم السلام عليكم everyone and welcome to this week's Super Saturday. We've got another fabulous craft ready for you. This week is slightly easier, but be prepared to get your hands a little bit messy. I hope you've had a wonderful week of learning and inshallah you've been teaching about Surat Al-Fajr as well. I hope you've been um, telling your family, telling your friends about the different treasures that we found in Surat Al-Fajr. So get your hands ready, get your paints ready and a few other bits and bobs. I'll tell you exactly what you need as we get started with this week's Super Saturday craft, inshallah. We need some paper, either cardstock or um, watercolor paper, or just slightly thicker paper would be better. Um, some empty toilet rolls, because we're gonna be uh, doing a little bit of painting if you haven't already figured out. But you'll need some paints, either poster paint or acry um, acrylic paint, acrylic paint, depending on what you call it, um, uh, a paint brush, two markers, ideally brown and black, uh, some paper towel to wipe up the mess, cotton balls, a pair of scissors, I've got um, a pot of water to clean up my brush, and then, um, so either the toilet rolls or paper towel, um, empty rolls. So we can put everything else away. We're first going to use the empty rolls and a pair of scissors and you are going to make some snips and we should probably just do um, some lines so that we can split our toilet roll into three parts um, so just estimate kind of where you would put the two lines in order to make the three parts so there's my three parts and you can put that away those are I've got the two lines now remember we are using scissors so please get some help um, they can be sharp I don't want anyone to get hurt um, and you're going to just cut or snip down to about where that line is it doesn't need to be perfect you're just gonna keep going use the help of an adult um, just keep going all the way round but only until that line or that imaginary line that we um, that we drew earlier. Nothing more than that, and we will talk about why. But again, it doesn't need to be perfect lines, just um, a third of the way down. And then you're going to open them up like a fan. So just open them up to the outside, push them down, and that's all we need. So there's the one side. I'm going to show you what we do to the second side. You can hold, you can roll it back up. And on this side, you are actually going to make, um, again, you're going to cut small rectangles out. So leave a small space and then cut the other way. So just like that, you'll get a little rectangle out of it. Leave a little bit more space and then do exactly the same thing. So you notice that I've left more room and then cut out a small rectangle. So you'll see that there's my little one, there's some larger space and then another small one. And repeat the same thing all the way around We'll get a few petals. Oops. Told you what we might be making if you haven't already guessed. Just keep going. Remember not to cut all the way down, only about a third of the way in. We don't need them to be excessively large. And gather your um, rubbish on the side, and I think that's all we need actually. And you're going to do exactly the same thing we did on the other side. You're going to bend them outward. This one you might need to actually use your thumb and your finger to push it out. I think this looks a bit like a sun to me. You might be able to use it. We'll see. And you now have two sides to your uh, toilet roll. Put that one aside, we'll pick up the other one. 
Now remember, you don't need to have two. I've just I'm just showing you different ways to make it. I've gone ahead and done my um, imaginary lines, and on this one, you're going to cut slightly diagonal first. So only to that first third line, but we're going to make, so we're going to cut out triangles basically. And you're going to keep cutting all the way around, just keep your scissors at an angle and pull those out. So it looks like a W or an M depending on how you look at it. Keep going all the way around and eventually it's going to look a bit like a crown. Keep going. You'll get a few. Um, you'll get a few triangles out of it. Remember, Allah loves the ones who are clean. So um, gather your rubbish in one area, and we'll throw it away later once we're done. That's the last of my triangles that I'm going to be able to get out. It looks like a crown to me. And we're going to flip the other, flip to the other side. Find that line, that third of the way down, and on this one, you're just going to make really close snips all the way around. Um, again, it doesn't have to be perfect, just as close as you can without um, ripping off the pieces. You know, we don't need to go quickly at it, um, but please make sure. Your fingers are not in the way and you are getting help whilst using your pair of scissors. Now this week we actually just celebrated Earth Day, so this is a craft that you can even use for your Earth Day celebrations as we celebrate um, the Earth. Uh, now obviously we're not making a craft for that, but you can use this for the same. Now you'll see that I'm pointing those outward again and folding them outwards just like we've done on the other side and on this one just really quickly we've got two sides again I'm just cleaning it out because it looks like that's a bit harder and that's all so I've got my four sides to the two toilet rolls or the empty toilet rolls rather That's all. So we're just going to keep folding it out so um, it's nice and flat, or as flat as possible. Again, gather your um, rubbish, gather your trash and put it on the side. We will put it in the bin, or if you've got a bin next to you, just toss it in there. And we are now going to start using our paints. Just bring your paper forward and just push those down, hold them down so that it stays flat. Grab your paint brush and some paints, whichever colors you want, it doesn't have to be I'm using orange. Um, I'm going to use some orange, I think I'm going to use some blue and maybe some pink. Uh, but you can pick out whichever ones you want. Dip it in a dip your paint brush in a bit of paint, we don't need a lot of paint. Um, at least for starters, and I'm going to start on pick any of the petals that you've made, pick any of the shapes that you've made, and you're just going to dab some paint all over it. Um, yep, yeah, just keep going all the way around. You might need to get a little bit more paint. It's better to start with less and then add some more because we don't want clumps of paint. And just go around again if you need. And you're going to, it's going to act like a stamp. So you're just going to stamp it down. And I'm just circling it a little bit more before I hold it down. Now if you notice, as I'm lifting it up, there's not too much paint. It's giving me a little bit, but I want to add some more. 
and yep my fingers are messy but that's okay we'll wash it off at the end dab some more paint and do exactly the same on the other side or sorry on the same side Keep adding your paint and you'll see in just a minute I'm going to stamp it again but this time because I've already made a base I'm going to hold it or press it down a little bit so with one hand hold the top and with your other hand just press down those spiky I'm going to call them petals and you'll see why the spiky edges I'm sure you can see the paint on my fingers I'm just going to wash off my paint brush so that um, I can use a different colour. I've picked up my second uh, toilet roll or my second petals, second set of petals and I think I might use some pink. I'm going to get the pink paint, add it to my paint brush and then begin to paint my petals. It's quite light, but that's okay. I'd rather start light so that I don't have clumps all over my paper. I've added a little bit more paint on the petals itself and then I'm spreading it using my paintbrush. Now what you could also do is you could pour some paint into a um, bowl or a plate um, and then dip your stencils in there or dip your petals in there. Now you notice that I put my paintbrush in the water because we don't want the paint to get hard. We don't want the paint brushes to get hard and I've pressed it down but I need some more paint so I'm going to redo that. Add some paint and then spread it using my paintbrush. I'm going to actually turn it around and not put it on the same um, petals that I'd previously done because I want more petals than I have. So that's a little trick for you. So instead of just the five petals, I now have ten petals. I'm going to take my next toilet roll or the next stem sill and add some. I think I'm going to add some blue paint to this one. So get your paint. I haven't used mine in a few days so I need to shake my paints um, and then dab it on to the now the reason you see me keep moving it away is because I don't want to get a lot of paint on I don't want to get any paint actually on my um, on my painting so I'm just moving it kind of to the side and just paint your petals Spread the paint, just like we did on the other ones, and I'm sure you've guessed by now what our next step is going to be. Just going to keep it really close, and press it down. You want to press down each petal as tight as you can. You'll see that the other side has my orange that I did earlier. Mm, 
it looks like it's still quite light, so I want to add a bit more paint. Take your paintbrush and spread the paint on your stencil, on your petals. Oops, my paint is dripping, so I'm just going to grab it before it goes all the way down and spread. And press down, nice and hard, nice and firm. I think that should do it. There we go. I think I'm happy with those three um, stencil prints and I can put those to the side. We've got, there's our first, second and third, we've got orange, pink and blue. This is going to turn into a, into a flower bed maybe? See if you've got your guesses ready. I'm going to grab my brown marker and just draw stems coming down. Now why would I need stems? So just slightly curved lines. If you've got green marker, you can add some leaves to it. I'm going to take my cotton ball and break it in half. And take some yellow paint. Dip my cotton ball into the yellow paint. And swivel it around a little bit so that it's not clumpy, there we go, and then just make a couple of dabs right in the center of my flowers. Again, if you have some green markers, just draw some leaves on your stems, um, and I think I want to draw some birds in the garden, so really easy birds, you're just going to draw a V with a bit of a curve and I think three or four should be enough for me I think that like we've been discussing in Surat al Fajr that we want to be invited into the gardens, into paradise by Allah we are drawing, we are painting our own Jannah. And I think in Jannah, there will be a tree that keeps us all protected. Or keeps us all, um, gives us all a place to take shade. So that's my tree bark and the tree branch. I'm going to grab some green and another cotton ball. And this is going to be the leaves of my tree. dab all the way around nice and big because this tree is going to provide a lot of shade so I've got my tree and the birds are perched in the tree maybe I want to get some more because it looks like my paint isn't enough and just keep dabbing until you're happy with the way your tree looks so I've got my flowers I've got three flowers because I think there's going to be many different kinds of flowers and colours in Jannah, inshallah. And there we have it. I think I actually want to add a door. Because remember in our Treasure Tuesday we had a gate or we had a door that we want to enter into Jannah from. So we need to add a semicircle. You can draw a rectangle, however you want your door to look. I'm going to make mine small 
because Jonna is so vast, it's so big, that even a regular sized door looks really small comparatively. Now, do you remember what Jannati is? It was one of our vocabulary words, and I'm actually going to use it here. I'm going to write it in English so that I remember what this painting or what this drawing was for. The verses and enter into my paradise or enter my paradise. If you said Jannati means my paradise, you're absolutely correct. Jannati means my paradise, and Allah is t saying this. And he says, and he commands those people who have followed his recipe for success to enter into his paradise. So, inshallah, we will be invited. Now, it's because, um, because Allah has said it, I'm going to add some quotations around it. And enter my paradise. And I will also add the surah number and verse number. Surah number 89, Surah Al-Fajr is Surah number 89, and this is the last verse, Surah number 89, verse 30. And enter Wadhuli Jannati, and enter my paradise. Wadhuli Jannati, and I think, in my opinion, we're going to have trees, we're going to have birds tweeting, the little door that's so small, but is going to invite all of us into it, inshallah. I've just washed my hands, they've gotten so messy. I hope you've had an enjoyable craft, I hope you've enjoyed making the different flower shapes, and I hope you get to experiment with your own different shapes. Why did we make flowers and a garden? Why did we draw a painting? Why did we make a painting of a paradise? Because in Surah Al-Fajr, Surah number 89, in the last verse, Surah, Surah number 89, verse 30, Allah says, and enter my paradise. Why is he telling people to enter his paradise? And who is getting invited into his paradise? Inshallah, you and me will be invited into Allah's paradise. How are we going to get invited into Allah's paradise? If we follow his recipe for success. So he has said that those people who aren't proud, like those people of Thamud, those people who thought their, their homes were really strong and nothing could happen, they took pride in their homes, are those people going to be allowed entry? Mm, I don't know. But those people who are definitely going to be allowed entry are the ones who take care of the poor, they feed the poor, they give comfort to those orphans. Those are, that's the recipe for success that Allah has shown us. So inshallah, this painting will remind you and me that in order to be invited into the doors of Allah's Jannah, in order to be invited into paradise in peace, we must also take care of the poor, we must also feed the hungry, we should give comfort to the orphans, and inshallah, we will see you, we will see each other in Jannah. But before that, hopefully, we will see you on Tuesday for a brand new surah uh, for our Treasure Tuesday episode. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.